I broke down the gun into as many tiny little pieces as I can because even the threading on the screws and the underside of these screws is still caked in cosmoline. So the more you can get taken apart on your gun to actually scrub each one individually, um, you know, the better you're cleaning your gear you get. And if you do it right the first time, you don't have to do it again. So when I get a surplus gun, first thing I do is tear it right down to each and every piece, the smallest piece, without making it impossible. Even that little piece there can come off. Uh, without making it impossible to put together. Look, even those little things come out with a spring. And just, you can just see the cosmoline that's caked in there, those little, tiny little springs. And then the other thing is, you know, I... Can I put it all back together is the big question. <laughs> Anyways, uh, were you good at Lego as a kid? Because if you are, uh, gun disassembly and reassembly is for you. So, anyways, uh, in my next video, I'm going to clean this up. Uh, I use mineral spirits in hot water, and then I use brake cleaner for the actual barrel and the bore and all the big pieces that won't fit in a tub of the mineral spirits. Um, and then uh, just blow it off with air and re-oil it and, and put it back together. I did it for my SKS, and uh, so we're going to try it again. This time I'm going to video it and show you how I clean the Cosmoly. So now what I've done, I've taken all of my parts and in this uh, bath here, this is the mineral spirits. Uh, I used what was left. It's not quite enough to sink all of the parts. So, and I'm probably going to add a little bit of hot water just to heat up uh, the pieces a little bit and it should help the cosmoline fall away a little easier. The other thing I did in this little piece here, uh, I took all the small pieces. There's a couple really tiny little... Uh, probably can't see them with the water. There's a couple really tiny springs and screws and stuff that I didn't want to mix in with the big pieces. So I just made a little separate bath there. You can actually see that's starting to change color pretty good there. That's getting pretty yellow. So you can see how the, that's only been in there for about three minutes now. So you can see how the mineral spirit just eats away at that uh, cosmoline. So uh, I let everything kind of bath in the mineral spirits for probably 10-15 minutes and then I'm going to run it through boiling hot water and that's just going to wash away whatever excess or excess is kind of left on the pieces and then once I'm done I take my compressor blow them dry lay them out on some paper towel and uh, normally I do this outside but it's February and it's minus 16 degrees Celsius today so I got the gun yesterday. I always want to clean them immediately as soon as I got them. So I said, what the hell, I'm just going to do it in the basement anyway. So uh, not recommended indoors. Do it on a nice sunny day for a couple reasons. The fumes from the mineral spirits, you know, and, and uh, normally I like to use brake cleaner for some of the bigger pieces like the barrel. Uh, can't do that inside, obviously. And then... Um, the other thing too is if you do it on a hot sunny day you can actually take the stock and leave it out in the sun and that will actually bake off a lot of the cosmoline off the stock too so can't do that so at least I'm gonna get the main parts uh, all cleaned off today oiled and then I can put the gun back together so here's a close-up view of uh, the, the parts sitting in the mineral spirits and if you just look uh, at that part of the bolt there you can just see all of the cosmoline is just kind of collected to one side of it you can see the bubbles as the uh, you know the spirits are working on basically just loosening all that grease up and I'll just see if I can pan over here and show you a few different pieces once again see all the bubbling and the collection of the And it's just cleaning that stuff right off. So once you let it sit for a while, uh, then we'll get to switch it over to the hot water here in a second, and uh, that should just basically wash off or clear off the majority of the uh, mineral spirits and the cosmoline. And then we'll take it out and blow dry it and put it on some paper towel, oil it, put it back together. Anyways, we'll get to that step in a second. 
So the all the parts been soaking there probably about 15 minutes now. You can see clearly between the left tub and the right tub, uh, the color of the liquid has dramatically changed. So uh, you can see just how much of that cosmoline is actually caked in with all these pieces. So what I do is just kind of shake them around here, try to get any of the loose stuff off. Uh, you know, make sure that all the nooks and crannies get a lot of this product in it before I try to wipe it off. And you can just look at the amount of crap coming out of there. That's just crazy. The old oil bottle I'll probably never ever use. But you can just look at the color of that. Ugh. Okay, so those have all, you know, pretty much going to be as good as they're going to get. Uh, rubber gloves are a must with this stuff. Uh, you definitely don't want to be getting this all over your skin if you don't have to. So, the next step I'm going to do, all the small pieces I put in the smaller container, uh, I'm going to do those first. So I'm just going to put my hand over the top here, just use my hand as a sifter, I guess, of sorts. Strainer. So all your small pieces are sitting, and I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the hot water. Put the top back on and shake it around for a little bit, and that's going to be as good of a kind of a clean and I'll get on those. So, still, water's looking pretty clear, so that's a good sign. Actually, there's an awful lot of oil in there. <laughs> so, alright, so, once again, we're going to just kind of strain. The water back out. And we'll put those pieces aside and dry those off. And while well, those are kind of drying here, um, I'm going to start moving all this stuff over. Shake them off good. We want to get as little of the mineral spirits and the Cosmoline from the dirty bath into the clean bath. All right, all my parts are over in the water. Just give them a little tumble around. Just kind of shake, get as much stuff off here. And if you can look in this tub there, you can just see what a filthy mess this crap is. So it's cheap and as awesome as surplus firearms are. If you get to clean them, it is a real pain in the ass. This, however, I found is the easiest way to do it. Uh, I talked a little bit at the start of the video about the fumes, and I'm definitely going <laughs> to I'm definitely going to point out again. This should be done outside because it's, the air is getting pretty thick in here. I can almost taste that mineral spirit, which isn't very nice either. So when I take this little piece here and rub my hand across it, there's just no oil, even in the little cracks and crevices. It just looks completely clear. Um, so it's just amazing how well this works. Anyways, I'm going to start grabbing some pieces, uh, blowing them off a little bit, and, you know, we'll see. Make sure you get as much of the water off of these as you can before the paper towel, because uh, you want to get them as dry as possible before um, you start oiling it and putting it back together. You definitely don't want any water left in the gun, that's for sure. Alright, I'll catch up with you later after I'm done this. So I've got a few of the parts out here and there's one other thing I want to mention right away which is now that these have been washed and gone through the metal is now stripped of any oils or protective coatings that it had before so this is just bare metal uh, so what do I do just to prevent any surface rust or anything from happening is as soon as I get a bunch of them out uh, I just use REM oil. I have a big can of this stuff. I normally don't use it for actually oiling uh, or lubricating guns, but I'll tell you, the aerosol is just a great little... I just give everything a quick little coat like that, uh, you know, on both sides. And that basically, while you're working, you know, will just protect the metal uh, from, you know, getting any moisture or rust on it. 
So just give everything a, just a quick coat and uh, at least now your metal uh, just has a little bit of a protective barrier until you can put it back together. And that stuff just wipes off too with your fingers. So don't worry about putting too much on there because as you're putting it back together uh, and cleaning it properly, you know, a lot of that will come off. But just on another note, if you look at how shiny, you know, this oil bottle was or is now compared to what it was before we started, you can see there's just, there's no more of that Cosmoline left on it. This, this procedure works so good and uh, I'm going to put a link on the bottom. I can't remember whose video it was. I saw it first. Uh, I'm going to stick it on the bottom and do a little shout out to him because uh, this is the greatest idea I ever saw and uh, I recommend it to anybody doing it this way. Just do it outside. <laughs> you'll, you'll be happy you did. Finished product. So everything's been cleaned, everything's been oiled, it's all sitting. Um, I don't know, you probably can't see from there, but there's absolutely no Cosmo anywhere. None of the cracks, none of the crevices, even on the inside of the gun, uh, or on the inside of the bolt here, there's, there's just no, nothing. Some oil in there, but just the, just the REM oil I put in there. So, yeah, definitely, you know, it took me about an hour, start to finish, to do the whole thing. I don't know if that's the quickest way, maybe I don't work, I'm a little more meticulous than others, maybe, but anyways, an hour, every part is clean, you know, except for the barrel and stuff, which I'm going to have to do probably outside with the brake cleaner and some other things, so, but as far as all of the small pieces and all of the innards of the gun, uh, everything is completely bare with just a coat of oil on it. So that's the way I do Cosmoline removal. I hope this helps you. Uh, it's real easy to do. Just do it outside because uh, I feel like I'm going to pass out now. The fumes are pretty strong. So until next time.